today's video will be inspired for all my girlies who are dippling dabbling but have one favorite person but their favorite person isn't doing much this video is for you so let's talk about it hey guys it's your girl ari so i want to give you guys a huge 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 shout out because you guys are phenomenal and amazing because how my channel went up almost 100 subscribers in one month is like it may not seem much for you know you more established youtubers as a new upcoming youtuber every person who subscribes literally has my heart overnight i got like 25 subbies and that might not seem much for more established channels but because my channel is fairly new that means the world um i am trying to get up to 500 subscribers by next month so keep going guys my girl talk and abandonment issue video right now went up 400 views in 24 hours y'all like guys thank you for watching my content thank you so much for sharing it subscribing as well as just showing my channel love i see you guys are commenting more so i'm just like thank you thank you thank you and you, as you guys already know if you're new to this channel hi my name is ari de Nero. i am a baddie coach self-love enthusiast as well as a travel addict my content consists of some girl talks travel videos as well as some unboxing and hauls from time to time just to keep things spicy but overall guys i want everyone to feel and be their phenomenal selves so my channel aspires to create content that meets that sort of niche For today's video um i feel like it's been a while since i talked about dating and just love so i'm like eh! Let me touch some gems. And this video is targeted particularly for my girlies who are in the midst of dating right now and are, you know, dippling dabbling. These are for my dippling dabbling girlies. So let's start from the beginning. Um, as you guys know, I'm single. I've been single for a couple months now. My last relationship ended on very kind terms, like me and my ex were still cool. So if y'all think this video is coming from a perspective of a salty ex breakup, no. Um, ever since my ex and I broke up, I've leveled up tremendously. Not only my looks and how I dress, but also how I feel on the inside because that breakup just taught me I need to love myself a little more. Because we ended things on very kind terms, I will not be referring to her as such as well as any negativity because it's not my vibe. Today's video will be inspired for all my girlies who are dippling dabbling but have one favorite person but their favorite person isn't doing much this video is for you so let's talk about it so before i go into the topic i just want to establish the following okay if a person likes you they'll take you out if a person vibes with you they will take you out and if a person cares about you they will take you out ladies i need you guys and gentlemen because i know some guys watch my content but let's just use a very inclusive term so let's say guys guys if someone cares about you and is interested in you you will know anytime you feel like a slight i don't know or you feel like the vibe is off the vibe is off cut them off find someone else like i need everyone to stop wasting time money and energy on people who are inconsistent i promise you guys stop treating these people as your main when they're treating you as a side and even a side is an upgrade like some of them would just treat you like up <laughs> how do i say this some people would treat you like that one auntie you don't want to speak to but who's blowing up your phone like that's how they're treating you if you feel like you're excessively doing too much and when i say excessively doing too much i'm talking about double triple quadruple text messages because hey we i've been there okay no judgment when i like someone i like applying pressure but too much pressure is a turn off okay guys you need to match their level of energy so if they're giving you very high energy match it but don't match it too much and when i say that i mean don't come off as too interested because if it's early on that can throw some people off if you show too much attention too soon that can throw some people off and that can trigger them and that can make them be more on the avoidant because depending on their attachment style because guys attachment style is everything to dating if you attract people who tend to be more avoidant or more like eh, go with the flow like very hands off that means the following 
One, you need to heal some abandonment wounds you have within. Because if you're still attracting the same avoidant, emotionally unavailable people, that means you yourself don't believe on either a subconscious or a conscious level that you don't deserve someone who's present. And you feel as if you don't deserve someone who's there. Two, it could also just mean you're used to that. If in childhood you had parents who tend to be more hands off with you and not as like interested or involved in your life, whether that be like school, social, personal, whatever, we tend to attract those same partners growing up. At the end of the day, in the dating pool, you're only attracting what you're used to and what you're normalized growing up. If you grew up with, very, with two very, or just one, it doesn't matter. If you grew up with any parent who is emotionally unavailable, nine out of 10, when you go in the dating pool, you will attract people who are emotionally unavailable. So to combat those who are emotionally unavailable, we have the anxious attachment people, okay? So people who are anxiously attached, they tend to respond to avoidance with more pressure. Avoidance triggers anxiety with them, and with that anxiety, they could do the following. Blow up the phone, constantly wanna meet up, constantly in the presence, just giving so much of them because they hope that in terms of them giving so much of their time, energy, resources, that the person would magically go from avoidant to, okay, I wanna commit. That's not how it works, guys. If you're aiming for a relationship, you need to come to terms with not only having a secure attachment style within yourself, but also benefiting from having another person who you're dating match that level of secure attachment. A secure attachment person, yes, they can date people who are anxious and they can also date people who lean avoidant, but the relationship would face a lot of conflict just because the attachment styles don't necessarily balance each other well, one, or two, align in a healthy way. Those who are anxious tend to attract avoidant partners. Those who are avoidant tend to attract anxious partners because it just goes back to the push and pull mantra. The anxious person pulls, the avoidant person gets pulled. The avoidant person lets go, the anxious person will come back. Just like when you're playing tug of war with someone, um, someone who's anxiously attached, they're gonna keep pulling on that rope, whereas that avoidant person is not really like moving, they're just holding their ground. When the moment the avoidant person lets go, the anxious person is left and crumbles, okay? Not saying that this person doesn't care necessarily, it's just their ca capacity and their openness and willingness to be open is just guarded. If you're dating someone who leans avoidant, that requires a lot of patience as well as open communication because any form of intimacy, will trigger them to run off okay so until they can fully heal why or understand why that they are leaning that way and they're avoiding intimacy and they're avoiding closeness it's going to be very hard to get in a relationship with them okay for my anxious girlies stop attracting people who give you that rush okay let me let me explain all right i lean fearful avoidant okay so that's kind of a combination of both but more on the avoidant side right people who are fearful avoidant they tend to fear intimacy so even though they want the long the long-term relationship and they want to be intimate and they want that sense of closeness out of fear of being rejected or abandoned we push and pull so our relationships with people very much so mimic wishy-washy behavior i'm working on my attachment style i'm not fully secure yet but i am in a better spot than I was a couple months back. I will admit, if you're looking towards dating and such, the key step to getting there is understanding your attachment style and building a better relationship with yourself, okay? You cannot go out in the dating pool and attract good partners if you're out here walking with these unhealed wounds out and about in this world thinking people aren't thinking that others are not gonna pick up on it because they will. And that's how you attract very narcissistic ancient partners okay so for my ladies who are anxiously attached i'm gonna repeat this one more time if the person wants you they will put in the effort to take you out they will put in the effort to see you they will put in the effort to make time for you you will be a priority to them darling you shouldn't have to sit here and contemplate whether this person likes you or not because they they nine out of ten they don't like you shouldn't have to question someone's intentions with you like if you're giving someone the time of day let them earn that shit. Let them work for that shit. Let them show to you and prove to you that you're worth their time and energy. And for my people who tend to lead avoidant, if you like someone, give them a chance. I understand that leaning avoidant has its advantages in your head because you're protecting yourself. But in the long run, if you want a secure attachment, you need to heal from that avoidancy that you have within. You need to heal that 
fear of being close to someone. You need to heal my your inner child. You need to heal your inner child because you're only stopping yourself from something beautiful, okay? As someone who's dated people who either lean anxious or lead avoidant, although I will be honest with you, I've dated a majority of anxious people. Yeah. Depending on what stage I am in my life, I will lean I will literally date either or. I've dated I don't think I've ever dated someone who leans secure. I guess that's just me needing more healing. I need y'all to get up and go find some peace within before you start healing. I do want to say this now, but I get the ick when people say they want to fully heal before they go into dating. Healing is not a linear journey, okay? Le healing is very wishy-washy, all right? As long as you choose to heal every day and you choose peace and you choose to present yourself in your true authentic self, that's all you can do. You can work on yourself while dating. You could work on yourself while being in a relationship. You could work on yourself being alone. And depending on the magnitude of how much you want to put in, in terms of just your energy and time in each, determines your thing. I am single by choice. I'm not single because I don't have no one, because trust me, baby, the lineup will always line. Just like the silk press will always silk. But again, guys, don't let this deter you from finding someone because in the process of healing yourself, if you attract more secure people, that's a good sign, okay? If in the process that you're in your healing journey, that you're attracting more secure, more consistent partners, that means you are healing, okay? An unhealed person will continue to attract the same nonsense that broke them. I'm gonna say that one more time. An unhealed person will continue to attract the chaos and nonsense and trauma they haven't healed from repeatedly until they heal, okay guys? So if you're putting in your best foot, at, your best foot forward and you're dating with integrity and authenticity, the universe will reward you with more emotionally available, authentic people, okay? You reap what you sow. You going into the dating life screaming niggas ain't shit, this and the third, you will find you an ain't shit nigga because your mouth is powerful. It is a tool of manifestation, okay? Your mouth is a tool of manifestation. If you're out here speaking bullshit and nonsense, your world will translate exactly to it. So instead of going around saying, niggas ain't shit, niggas shit ain't shit, all that ain't shitness, how about say, okay, the dating pool's tough right now, but I'm gonna still look. Cause as much as we were conditioned to believe through like social media that all dating is like wrong and all things went left and da 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 da, there are good people out there. You just don't know them just yet, and that's okay. But yeah, guys, for all my people who are still actively dating, don't give up. I know this dating pool sucks, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You'll find someone who deserves every bit, piece, soul of you. All right. So until the next video guys, take care and then also please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like more content like this. And I'm so open to you guys' feedback. So please leave some comments with some suggestions and until the next video guys.